Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you today? I am fine. I'm fine too. Thank you okay. for asking. How was your day at work? Did you have a busy day or stressful? It was so so. Or do you have a good day? I am driving. Oh, you're driving. Is there traffic? No. No. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Be careful. Drive safe. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you for letting us know. And the rest of you, how are you doing? How are you? How was your day? I already sent the presentation for today's class. So uh, let's see, uh, it's still missing some people. I'm going to wait uh, five minutes before we check attendance, but we're going to start with the program, okay? So let's see, um, yesterday we started to discuss um, about adding items to a menu. So, and we also discuss about actions, plans, and the ways that, or things that you would do to introduce a new menu item, right? So let's see. Uh, this is where we stopped yesterday, and I included it here today just as a reference. Uh, right. This is what we need to do today. So we have in this exercise number three, which is in your material on page 14. We have uh, this exercise. It's, um, these are examples on steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the, to the menu. So first we have the steps here, right? And we have layer A, what action or change will happen? Who will carry it out? When will it take place? And for how long? What resources are needed to carry out the change? Communication is important. Who should know what? So uh, taking in these things into account is that people can develop an action plan to introduce a new item to a menu. Now, in part B, we have numbered the following step in an action plan. Can you read the first step, Jose? Jose Arnoldo? Yeah, the drink will be available. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, during Valentine's Day, in promotion that continues through February. Okay. Uh, very good. Thank you so much. Can you read the next one, please, Maria Angelica? The chef created the recipes for the drink, the manager approved of it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. All right, thank you so much, Angelica. Uh, Delmi, can you read the third one, please? Advertising. Uh, advertising board and staff will stay in, in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. Thank you so much. Imelda, can you continue? The manager? The manager requested extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare but they are not very expensive. All right, requested, requested. Okay, thank you so much, Imelda. Let's uh, continue with the last one. Rudy, can you read the last one, please? Rudy? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. 
Teacher, uh, um, just one thing. I have a problem in my house right now. And I just want to uh, ask about the list. Do you already get the list? Uh, yes, are you leaving the section today? No, no, just um, I will connect at 9 p.m. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Um, okay, Rudy is driving. I'm sorry, Rudy, no worries. So um, the last one is a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Okay, so what we need to do here is to place these letters in the correct order. Which of these steps is which one? So we have letter A, B, C, D, and E. We have to put it here like a matching exercise. I'll give you some, let's see, many, maybe three minutes for you to match these steps into the correct descriptions, okay? For example, letter A, what action or change will happen? Which one do you think is the letter A? A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. That is correct. So letter A is going to be the here. A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. So I'll give you three minutes for you to complete it.
Okay, let's check your work. So letter A, we already said that it is a new, uh, what action or change will happen? So it's a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Letter B, uh, volunteer to share what you have for letter B. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. The letter B is who? The third, third sentence is advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduce, introduction of the drink. Uh, does anybody, uh, everybody has the same one? Who will carry it out? Who will carry it out? will carry out. Uh-huh. I think the manager requests extra funding for the, this project. Um, who will carry it out? Quien lo llevará a cabo? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The chef created to the recipe for the drink. The manager approved it, approved it, of it, and advertising itself will be responsible to make the product. Yes, that is correct. So okay. yes, so letter B should be Thank here. You. Thank you so much. Uh, letter C, a volunteer. Number one, the drink uh, that involved a during Valentine's Day in promotion that continues through February. That is correct. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for letter D. The manager re re request request extra funding for this project. The dream is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Uh -huh, that is correct. Thank you so much. And the last one, Larry E. And only the Amber Team board and staff will stay in communication to carry what all the steps to complete the introduction of the dream. That is correct. Thank you so much. So I think that, yes, thank you so much for your participation. You did a very good job with this exercise. So I'm going to stop sharing. We will check attendance. So let's please turn on your cameras and say present as you hear your names. Andrea Laurena. Andrea Laurena Vázquez. Belén ya se va a conectar otra vez, dijo Carlos Mario Avedaño. Carlos Mario. Carmen René. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Delmi. Francisco Nehemías. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Helen Dionelli. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Helen. It is Joanna. Present teacher. Thank you, it is Jose Arnoldo. 
Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Kenia Sicilia. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Maricela del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Moises Alberto Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Noemí Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you, Noemí. Rafael Antonio Barrientos. Present. Thank you so much. Reina Margarita Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén de Jesus Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Stephanie. Judy Araceli. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jose Rudy Acevedo. José Rudy Acevedo. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Presently, present teacher Rudy Acevedo. Okay, thank you so much, Rudy. Thank you. María Angélica. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Susana Esmeralda. Susana Esmeralda Jimenez. Okay, thank you so much for your attendance. We are going to continue. Well, let's see. All right, um, well, we finished with this one and then we have the discussion. Uh, we are going to go and so this is going to be an activity group. You're going to visit the website that you have there. This is a link that I'm sharing with you. And you're going to make a short presentation. And so you will read this in group. Then you will uh, create a presentation in which you're going to cover this um, what we have here, this is highlights of implementing loyalty plans. So you're going to talk about this. You're also going to discuss advantages and disadvantages of using social media as a marketing strategy. Also, you will summarize the strategies to make a restaurant stand out from the crowd. And you will also answer on how much does a food ordering app cost? You will find that information in the link that you have there. And let's see, we're going to make the breakup rooms. So remember to discuss, read, discuss, and create your presentation. You're going to have, let me see, I think 15 minutes uh, would be enough for you to create your discussion and present your uh, work to the class. So let me create this. Um, before I'm going to allow you to share the screen before we go to the break. Okay, it's done. So that's ready now. Okay, let's join the room and work on that presentation.
mucho lo que dijo en el... Este, cuando yo me salga del room, se tienen que meter al enlace que tienen en la presentación del PowerPoint. Van a leer ese artículo y luego van a discutir las, los puntos que estaban en la presentación, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son las, uh, el top de las estrategias de marketing? Y responder lo que ahí está. Es como una presentación que ustedes van a hacer de su análisis del artículo, cubriendo los puntos que están ahí en la presentación. La okay. ¿Mm? Es como una exposición. Mm -hmm. yes. Ahí está. Teacher. Tenemos dudas, teacher. ¿Sí? No bueno, yo si voy ingresando y la verdad no escuché. Perdón. No sé si nos puede repetir las indicaciones, teacher. Por favor. Vaya, ahí les acabo de enviar el enlace de WhatsApp. No se vayan a unir ahorita porque pues esto lo trabajaremos así, como me dijeron que así lo hacía el profesor anterior, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, ahí les mandé el enlace para que ustedes lean el artículo 
y en ese artículo van a encontrar lo que pues les pido en la que dice que tiene problemas con internet ok, ahí les incluye en la, en la presentación lo que van a discutir es como que hagan una exposición vaya diciendo cuál es el top de las marketing strategies cuánto cuesta una aplicación para ordenar comida en línea eh, toda esa información está ahí está también este que decía, permítanme, voy a ver otra vez aquí. Ok, tienen que discutir eso que está acá. Lo primero es eh, los highlights of implementing a loyalty plan. Entonces, ustedes tienen que hablar sobre los, lo, la importancia o, lo, o lo, lo más sobresaliente de implementar un plan de lealtad en un restaurante, a, a ventajas y desventajas de usar la social media para como marketing strategy y tienen que hacer un como resumen de las estrategias que aparecen ahí para hacer que un restaurante sea fuera de lo común y hablar sobre el costo de, 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 de crear o, o de aplicar una aplicación para ordenar comida en línea. No sé si es internet, pero oigo bastante ruido. No sé si. Entonces si vamos me... a desarrollar cada punto, los cuatro puntos que están ahí, de acuerdo a, lo, a la información o sí. en el enlace que envió. Sí, de, de acuerdo a eso y también pues pueden combinar sus ideas también. Ok. Sí. The y esa presentación en PDF hacer? la pueden ya hacer que... en un Word, en un PDF como a ustedes se les haga más fácil o en un documentito de Word nada más para que vayan leyendo y presentando sus ideas como a ustedes se les facilite más ok ok, thank you Teacher, I have a problem with my internet. ¿En qué grupo estaba? No recuerda quiénes estaban en el grupo. Hola. Uh, José Arnoldo Corea. Um, José Arnoldo. Ah, pues estaba eh, en el 2. José Arnoldo Corea. Ok, ahorita la asigno sí. nuevamente. Thank you, ok. Thank you.
Ah, nos voy a unir a un grupo. Vaya, señorita. Buenas noches. Good evening. Good evening.
Acaba de ingresar Moisés o se desconectó de algún grupo. Eh, voy eh, llegando a la casa que se me desconectó porque pasé en un lugar que no tenía señal. Mm, ok. Eh, ¿Estaba en algún grupo o lo, es, lo asignó en cualquiera? En el 4 estaba, creo. El 4. Ok. Con Kenia, Margarita, Noemí y Rudy. Sí, correcto. Ok. Ahorita lo asigno. Gracias. Hi, teacher, de nuevo. I'm sorry. ¿En qué grupo estaba? En el... Cuatro. Cuatro. Con José Correa. En el dos está José. Ahorita ah, la uno. Thank you, teacher. No falta, teacher. Ok, es que me uní yo en vez de unir a su compañero. ¿Eh? Perdón, bye. Se fue, teacher, y no me unió. Es mute. Sí, yo me uní en vez de unirlo a usted, no sé. Le di clic donde no debía. Ahorita It's mute, uno. teacher. ¿En serio todavía? Hola, <risa> me escucha ahora. Thank you. Ok, ahorita la uno. Yes, teacher, yes. <risa> Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, everybody's back again. So thank you so much. Let's see. I hope that you have had enough time to finish your presentation. So let's share what you got. Who's going to be the first group? We have the room number one, Carmen Rene. Is your group ready? It was Carmen, Imelda, Maria, Rafael, and Stephanie. We couldn't finish, teacher. Uh, share what you have. Pueden compartir lo que tienen. Y los demás grupos, sí, sí lograron terminar. O ninguno terminó. No, teacher. Fíjense que yo tenía esa, esa como duda, esa discusión sí. con respecto a lo de la aplicación. Ah, de la, el valor, el costo. Ajá, es el costo por mandar a desarrollarla. Por desarrollarla, ajá, por mandar a desarrollarla, como para que le creen la plataforma, eso. Ahora o sea, para, que va, se... voy a crear mi propia plataforma de... Uh -huh. Choris, delivery. Ajá, y ahí con las opciones, así es un self-service y todo eso, sí. Uh -huh. Ajá, es que oh. ese, fue, o sea, ese fue el conflicto, la duda, la discusión que tuvimos de que ah, okay. no sabíamos que uno... si era mandarla a desarrollar <risa> o descargarla. No, o... De mandarla a desarrollar, o sea, que usted cree, digamos que usted tiene en su negocio y usted dice, ok, <coughs> quiero desarrollar Perdón. una aplicación para que la gente pueda pedir en línea y que vean ahí sí, el menú. Sí. Todo, etc. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. So, uh, si creen que les bastan unos cinco minutos más para que terminen de afinar detalles, todo. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. ok, los voy a abrir otra vez los rooms. Se unen, por favor. Hi, Belen. Um, Hello, teacher. Hi, it's everything okay? Yeah, teacher. Sorry. Okay. I have a, a little problem here. <laughs> okay, no worries. Um, I'm going to join you to a breakout room. Let me see. They are almost done, but maybe you can have uh, the room. I'm going to assign you to the number. Let's see. Uh, number three, I guess. Okay, here we go. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, uh, were you in a room before or you're just joining uh, the section, Carlos?
se acaba de conectar. Está en mute. Perdón, voy llegando, disculpe. No, lo voy a unir a un, a un room. Vaya, ahí me, que me expliquen qué van a hacer. Ok, good. Gracias. You're welcome. My favorite movie is
Okay, let us share what you have. And we're going to start with the room number one or the group number one, which is Carmen Rene, Imelda, Maria Angelica, Rafael Antonio, and Stephanie Guadalupe. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't answer in the order that you asked us. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Okay. Highlight Sorry. of implementing loyalty programs. Customers love the idea when they are put on a pedestal, throw, throw incentives and reward programs. Likewise, for the general populace that comes to your restaurant social media profile page, create promo campaigns that entitle winners to a special discount or your upcoming inclusive weekend menu or something like that. Loyalty programs are the means to use incentives and offer to generate repeat business. Although you can house loyalty program without having an app if you feel that is better for your brand. Apps are a great way to make this entire transition easier. Okay, the next is how much does a food ordering app cost? For a starter, it costs somewhere around 2,000 to 8,000 to have a full functional food ordering restaurant app. And that's too without any bugs and inferior security, security protocols. The third one is advantage and disadvantage of using social media. We put advantage like the way the food look can bring the people for the restaurant. And I think we have a, have a mistake with the second because uh, we put it that sometimes the photo is more important than the taste. I think that we have a, a little mistake. And the good photographers could be generate the right amount of buzz around your restaurant. And disadvantage. But when you consider your online presence, the main, if not only thing, bringing people to your restaurant is the photographer can taste the food, must invest in good photographies of your food to capture the attention of professional customers. And the last summary is the Se congeló el compañero, ¿verdad? ¿O qué pasó? Creo que lo perdimos. Sí. For possible abuse. Uh, no le escuchamos al principio, nos perdimos. Creo que se le fue el internet un ratito. Repeat, so, Rafael, please. Summarize the strategies to make a restaurant stand out from the crowd. To summarize in order to maximize your restaurant success and growth, you need to take advantage of all possible avenues to reach the right customers and maintain the ones you already have. However, you need to remember that simple implement and marketing strategies is not always as easy as it seems and generating the right bus can be more difficult than you anticipate. And the last, unlike success, it is brilliant brilliant on your offline performance. So make sure your offline activities are right to bring success to your restaurant. Furthermore, while internet marketing may seem straightforward, 
it can be challenging. Get an expert if you want to stay at the top of your game. Work hand and um, work hand in hand with a professional marketing company to ensure successful restaurant marketing. Okay, excellent. You did a very good analysis of the reading. So thank you so much for your participation. Let's listen to the group number two which is Francisco Nehemias Godínez, Helen Barraza, José Arnoldo, Juan Ricardo, and Mercedes Amaya. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, benefits of loyalty program uh, reduce a long system, reduce costs, create mainly lease, both profits, being new place, improve brand reputation, get a help of comp competitors. competitors. Merci. Teacher, sorry, es que quiero activar el micrófono, pero no sé por qué no, no me lo activa. No sé si porque estoy compartiendo. Eh, no creo que tenga. ¿Y alguien más no tiene lo que hicieron? ¿Cómo no? Pero voy a intentar. Sí, trate. Tal vez Ajá, presionó es que... algo por ahí que no. Sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí, sí. Sí, le escuchamos. <ríe> ok. Advantages y disvantages of using social media as marketing strategy. Advantages, improve CEO, helps build personal relationship, more specific new words lead to more customers. Disvantages, to ask someone for reference about the restaurant and this person has about experience with it is they do not use social networks well they lost credibility to others who that you do not have anymore iría este francisco Acá estoy. <laughs> to is the strategies to make a restaurant and out from the crown. The marketing that a, a restaurant should have should not be a basel solely solely on serving good food. The person must see the place and if he like it, he will enter and if he like the atmosphere, he will proceed to see the price until he reach the food. Use pretty decoration and phrases and, and please the customer. Accept all, accept all payment methods, make phone promotion, 
even give away, let customers participate and feel part of the restaurant, have a very customer service is, um, okay, hasta ahí. How much does a food order in app cost? The principal issue with app is the initial investment that it should be around 6,000 or no, 2,000 in between 8,000 dollars. In this way, we recommend trying to partner with existing apps like Uber. Only teacher. Okay, thank you so much. I see that you um you covered everything and you also include your personal opinion. And yes, in marketing, it is very important to to make the customer feel valued and that their opinion matters. Okay, and you you also give recommendations, right? So yes, creating an app is kind of expensive and the like partnership with other uh, companies could be a, a good idea, such as the one that you did at the end that you suggested to partner with you. So that's um, nice of you. you. You did a very nice job. Thank you so much. Let's listen to the room or group number three. Uh, let's see, participants were Belen, Delmi Guadalupe, Iris Joanna. Juan Ricardo, Marisela, and Rubén de Jesús. Okay. Juan, highlights of implementing loyalty programs. Loyalty programs are a means to use incentives and offers to generate repeat business. I doubt you can house loyalty programs without having and app is to feel that is better for your brand. Apps are a great way to make this entire transaction easier. You can, uh, advantages, advantages and disadvantages of using social media as a marketing strategy. Uh, the, adv the advantages are you can use the photograph but for your website on your social media comes having a good instagram presence is a key strategy to capturing the eyes of potential customers customer retention retention social media influencer collabs summarize the, the, the strategies to make a restaurant stand perdón Social media influencer colors. Okay. Summarize the strategy to make a restaurant stand out from crowd. Using social media. You using your restaurant website, creating your restaurant app, taking advantage of your online presence. Don't forget about the human touch. How much does a full hugging hyper coach for a star sculpture me and around to one hundred? A thousand. A thousand. A uh, hundred. Thousand, a thousand. A thousand. I fully. We shall put order restaurant upper. Only teacher. Finish. All right. 
Thank you so much for your participation. So basically you're um, emphasizing of the use of social media, creating apps, and also pictures and people's or customers' opinion importance in your presentation. So I see that you get the main point. Congratulations. So let's listen to the last group, which is Carlos Mario, Kenia Cecilia, Margarita Moises, Noemi and Rudy Acevedo. Okay, teacher. I start the screen. And the discussion, I I read the the first the first uh, paragraph. The discussion highlights of implementing loyalty programs. The next one on restaurant marketing strategy tips is, is the inclusion of loyalty programs. Customer love the idea when they are put on, on a pedestal through incentives and rewards programs. Signs playing offer back in customer sales and metrics data, use it to your advantage. Once you have pinpointed a handful of your most regular customers, it's time to turn them into loyal followers. Offer these customers a special discount on their next order or credit and certain discount amount into their online food order app account for redemption. Re redemption. Okay. Continue, uh, Margarita. Uh, ad good evening. Advan advantages. Advantages. And this uh, disadvantages this advantages and disadvantages advantage in disadvantages of using social media as a marketing strategy advantages west west city order wise a a brother where where the city receive order online directly from your customer facebook and instagram order ordering iphone facebook and instagram ordering or orchid commerce Enablement, enablement. Plat, platform I, I want your restaurant business to, to take order towards Facebook and Instagram waiting minutes. Mobile app order. Big and blink upstairs your album, your a branding mobile app in our Android and use version that, that enables a thirty second order. Pleasant any time and ways. One point in order iPhone, point in ordering. Never miss an order for your customer, even if they go all in school. Okay. Now, Rudy. Okay. Uh, 
summaries the strategies to make a restaurant start out from the ground. Incorporation loyalty programs for maximum customer and and young in how do you say and in young gentlemen engagement engagement uh -huh. okay engagement okay uh, the next one a restaurant marketing strategy tips it is the inclusion of loyalty programs customer love the I did one, they are fall on the pedestal strong incentives and reward programs sin sizing bling of of offer back and customer sales and metrics that you say it to your advantage. Once uh, you have be pointed a uh, half full of your most regular customer, it's time to turn them into loyal for, for your followers. Offer these customer special discounts on their next order, or credit a certain discount amount into their only food other app accounted for a reduction a lightweight for the general purpose that calls that calls do your restaurant social media profile page profile page great from companions that entitled winners to a special this come on your are com, coming exclusive with King menu or something like that. Okay. Está um, Moises. Okay, well, uh, this paragraph says, how much does a full ordering app cost? The commission we like like all other food aggregators share share charts or merchants was fast was far too costly for them to scale their business on average an uh, alarming thirty percent of merchants. Revenue was consumed by commission or merchants needed a profile profitable online ordering platform, one which we were not. The only is inch issue with food ordering apps is the in initial cost that you need to put down for starters its cost somewhere around two thousand and eight thousand dollars to have a fully functional food ordering restaurant app and that too with without any bugs and Inferior Security Protocols. Finish. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. All of you have something in common, like uh, you, you um, the points are basically the same, but you uh, include something different. I read that you wrote there that every single customer is important. And so you have to look uh, for different ways to include all of them in order um, particularly because uh, the objective of this is not to lose uh, uh, any customer, right? In, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a customer who regularly uses technology or social media 
or if it is an uh, old school customer. I like that you include that. So thank you so much for your participation. So now I'd like to know, how do you feel? How was the exercise? Me teacher is, is so interesting uh, because I know in, in, word, in new words, new words mm -hmm. the, uh, the relation to marketing mm -hmm. is more, is more interesting for me. Okay, yes, thank you so much for your opinion. Yes, it is uh, related to uh, vocabulary with uh, marketing. Uh, they include terms, uh, interesting terms that can be useful for us. And uh, yes, and any other opinion? Uh, well, for me, it was interesting uh, because at the beginning we are, we were a little confused because <laughs> we, we thought it was a lot of text, <laughs> but it is interesting that uh, at the end we can found the answer. Okay, nice. And then some important things is that it makes you to practice reading and then you can realize that there are some words that may seem simple, but they are not. And also, uh, for example, I noticed that you had some difficulties by pronouncing the word advantages, disadvantages, social media, and a couple of other words that I heard that were mispronounced. But yes, I have my recommendation. And you tell some people, uh, I have just had like uh, four sections 101. And what they have in common is that you're requesting to have, uh, you said that you think that you have uh, some difficulties when you're trying to express yourself because you did not find the words or you first you think in Spanish and then you try to say that in English and things like that. And you would like to have more reading exercises. Um, Moises, I said you raise your hand, sorry. Yes, uh, I have a question. Uh, are they this website and and we can listen the pronoun the new word? Yes, that is what yes. I was going to tell you. Um, because yes, I know that your your English is very good, but yes, I have realized that you need to re uh, reinforce your pronunciation and that's the point point. says i'm going to share with you uh the next video that um i took it from um well that is an app and they mentioned this app in the video and uh, the app is called bbc learning english and i'm going to share it as by whatsapp as well and uh, this is very interesting because it has different sections right and this is um, one section about world news. Uh -huh. So for example, what is the um, maybe topics as, such as the COVID uh, or maybe the currency values and things like that. Uh, there is another section that is related to health issues. All right. And there is another which is related just to vocabulary and other is like focusing a restaurant, which is the white elephant. And the, there are conversations and there is a section, depending on what you want to see, there is also a section for grammar topics only. And it, every single section include the audio. So you can listen and also you, you will see the script so you can read what you're listening so you can listen and you can read and then you can practice pronunciation then there is the vocabulary section for new words and uh, a short quiz like of uh, to check your understanding of what you already read so i'm going to share that with you and tomorrow you can tell me if you download the app 
if you tried some exercises from there, it's really interesting. I like that app a lot. I'm going to write uh, here in the chat. It is, um, let's see, it, one is the... Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I tried to do the exercise in the app, um, but it's like error desconocido and then uh, appears a uh, módulo 1 intermedio pero me aparece que está terminado en junio y no me aparece este este en la aplicación uh -huh. so you have to report it with uh, Jason or Jimmy or Flor or Hazel mm -hmm. okay all right this is uh, the two of them are related, are basically the same. The only difference is that you can get one. The first one is the BBC Learning English, and then the other one is the six minutes English, and they send reminders that you have to practice your six minutes English every day. So I like that one because it is pushing you to practice six minutes a day. So that's what I like it. Um, Imelda? Um, I just have a comment about that you are saying. Uh, I used when I when I started to when I start to study English, I used the app Cake, and I feel that uh, this app um, helped me uh, a lot to improve my pronunciation. All right, can you write it on the chat? So you maybe your yes. classmates would like to download that app. Thank you for yes. sharing, Imelda. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have another option here, which Imelda is saying is it's good to help with pronunciation as well. Oh, cake, delicious name. <laughs> Uh, this, the, the, this is the first time that I heard about that one, so I'm going to uh, check it in that tomorrow. Let me write the name here because then I'm going to forget. I hey. like this app because um, this app have a little short videos, uh, and the videos can be popular videos like a YouTuber video or like a series videos, and I feel like when when you hear in a popular way is easier to understand. Oh, so this is oh, so the it's like a friendly vocabulary. It's like yes. basically easy to understand the vocabulary. Yes. Oh, okay, nice that you mentioned that. So for some people can work this one and some other um, will like to go for something more like challenging. So you have three different options there. Try one of them and then you tell, um, make your comments tomorrow about this. So let us check attendance because it is almost time and we still have uh, pending exercises to do today. Just let me get ready with the file. Okay, here I am. Let's see, Andrea Laurena. Andrea Laurena is not in. Belen Batres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen René. Present teacher. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Delmi. Francisco Nemias. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Helen Dionelli. Present. Thank you. It is Joanna. Present. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Present. Okay. Maricela del Carmen. Present teacher. All right. Mo 
Moises Alberto. I am here, Tisha. Okay. Noemi Albertina Vázquez. Present, teacher. Okay. Rafael Antonio Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Reina Margarita Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Reina. Rubén de Jesús Campos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Guadalupe Contreras. Judy Araceli Cuellar. Judy Araceli Cuellar. Jose Rudy Acevedo. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Present. Thank you. Uh, María Angélica Godínez. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you so much. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez. Ok, ya casi terminamos. Ahora le tocaría a Delmi su sección one on one. Ok, so let me continue with the class. Ok, uh, the next slide you have a video there. So let me share the screen. Okay, which is about the models. So today and in, in the next exercise, we're going to practice the models might and could. But what is the difference between my and might and could? We're going to watch a video with examples of this, how do we use these three models auxiliaries. And after you watch the video, let me share the link in WhatsApp so that was going to be easier for you to have it handy. Okay, I already sent the link so you can watch the video and then you're going to discuss in groups what, what did you understand about the usages of them. When do we use may when do we use might and when do we use could? You're going to discuss in the group. Just let me um, create the breakout rooms. They are going to be smaller. So let me create, let me recreate. Five, six, six, two. Okay, you're going to watch the video and then discuss uh, what did you understand from this.
it's kind of confused. Good, everybody is back again. So, what did you discuss? What are the uses of, of this of three model auxiliaries? Any volunteer? The tree yes. of, of more. Uh, yes. It's like uh, more expressions or. And what is it? Well, they call the might in May. It's it's the same, but they use in different uh, contexts in different situations. For example, something that uh, I don't know is the in the video, put an example for in the airport, you can use the could, could not, the negative of cool, because it's it's like a, talking about a, in a situation that it's not possible in past. And, and this 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 could might and may it's using for a possibility in future or in present yes thank you so much Berlin. thank you yes the use of these yeah. three model auxiliaries it's mainly for possibilities that can be future possibilities or present possibilities and they are also used to make guesses, not only possibilities, but also guesses. And about the grammatical function is this, these two, the, those are the main ones. And also at the moment of writing or using them, they are followed by the verb in infinitive, meaning that we don't need to conjugate the verb when we are using any auxiliary. But we will study more and we will practice this topic tomorrow because it's time to sleep. Thank you for joining and tomorrow we will continue practicing. I'm just going to wait for it. I need to save the session. So thank you for joining. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night. 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 Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Blessing. A todas y a todas. Thank you, Juan. Blessing. Hey, Daimi, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. You joined recently, right? You missed the first classes, I guess. I don't understand. Se unió hace poco, ¿verdad? Se perdió algunas clasecitas. Sí, las tres de la semana pasada me perdí. No sé happened? si me podría dar un, un breve un repaso. Eso. Que, eh, bueno, tenemos diez minutos y sí cubrimos bastante. Son seis horas de clase, pero los videos están en la plataforma. No sé si tiene acceso ya a la plataforma. Sí, Ahí hay una sección donde están los videos de las clases para que se pueda poner al día. ¿Y cómo se ha sentido en estas clases que ha estado? Me gusta, pero la verdad que no entiendo mucho. Me cuesta bastante. ¿Qué es lo que le cuesta? Aprender. Aprender. Uh -huh. eh, Siente que es más fácil... Eh, algún otro método o, o que, cómo no que no es sí está bien hacer? lo que pasa es que no es que yo entienda mucho mm. o sea me cuesta porque si si se fija hay bastantes compañeros que sí pueden bastante como Imelda Belén y y o sea uno no no llega a ese nivel todavía pero pero es lo que se desea Sí, mire, me imagino que si la pusieron en intermedio le hicieron alguna evaluación. ¿Verdad? Antes sí. de ponerla al módulo intermedio. Y me imagino que igual ya había estado en clases usted previamente, ¿verdad? Sí, es que estuve en, en básico del 1 al 6. Al ah, entonces sí, con, ya hizo todos los básicos y ya pues llegando a intermedio 
Mm. Y ya el nivel de dificultad es más, más elevado. Quiere bastante práctica eh, y siempre dar mi recuerdo que uh, no todos... Por más que digamos este es nivel intermedio, no todos están al mismo nivel ni en los básicos. A veces hay gente en básico uno que sabe bastante. Este, hay personas que bueno están en el nivel ya, por ejemplo, ahorita donde estamos, usted ya pudo identificar que hay un par de compañeras que hablan más. ¿Ya? Sí. Este, hay otros que no hablan mucho, pero al momento que los veo que están escribiendo son muy buenos en gramática. Hay gente que habla bastante, pero la gramática falla. Cosas que uno pues puede identificar. Entonces cada quien tiene su fortaleza. Eso es lo que le quiero decir. Y también que hay gente que han tenido diferentes oportunidades. Tal vez esto han estado más en contacto con el idioma, tal vez este, solamente es que lo dejaron de practicar y están ejercitándolo acá. Entonces, son diferentes circunstancias, ¿verdad? No es que usted no esté que donde debe, sino no sé qué es lo que más se le dificulta. Si siente que le es difícil eh, en sí entender el, eh, eh, en inglés, cómo se está hablando, si voy muy rápido, eh, etcétera, porque si es la gramática estamos cubriendo lo que está en el material y si la semana pasada estuvimos viendo los comparativos y también vimos quiero ver comparativos y cuál fue el otro tema ah, unas conjunciones que son para unir oraciones y lo practicamos bastante y yo siento que eso no estaba tan difícil, pero ahorita las clases que usted ha visto era puramente ya basados en el tema del marketing, de la industria del restaurante. No hemos visto un tema gramatical en sí desde que usted se unió. Este sería el primero, los modals. Que ahora pues solo vimos un video como para que ustedes tengan idea de los usos y cómo se, al momento de escribir qué es lo apropiado, ¿verdad? Entonces mañana lo voy a explicar nuevamente. La gramática usualmente la explico en español y en inglés. Pues hay gente que sí entiende en inglés y han habido compañeros suyos que me han dicho que lo explique en español, que les dé más ejemplos y así lo vamos haciendo. Así que tal vez ya mañana usted se sienta como mejor. Eh, porque si sí, ahora fue una clase bien intensa, puramente vocabulario de marketing en el restaurante, en la industria y todo eso. Entonces, sí, pero igual, o sea, ya, ya en el grupo sí nos entendimos y pudimos trabajar. Sí, por eso le digo, no se desespere ni sienta que no puede o que él está... Sí, claro, a todos nos cuesta porque acuérdese que estamos aprendiendo, no es algo que que sea ni siquiera de nuestra cultura. Hay cosas que se dicen tan diferente en inglés de al español que a veces me dicen, ay, que todo se dice al revés. Y cuestiones así, pues entonces por eso tal vez de repente sentimos que está difícil, pero pues no es imposible. ¿Qué siente usted que le ayuda más? De lo que hacemos en clases, la verdad que ha visto, pues, poco, lo, pero, los... pero sí la he visto que ha estado ayer y ahora. Este, por lo menos lo, lo, los ejercicios que puso ayer. Ah, al principio de la clase, los uh, que fueron de repaso. Eso fue repaso de, la, de lo de los temas de gramaticales. Los comparativos. Ajá. De los comparativos, sí. No, ah. sí, la verdad que el, que el método que está utilizando sí está bien. Yo creo que es bien amigable para todos. Ah, vaya, me parece alguna sugerencia que usted tenga para mí o algo que usted quiera que hiciera diferente para tomarlo en cuenta. No, por el momento todo me ha parecido bien. Ok. Bueno, entonces le agradezco, Delmi, y cualquier cosa hágamelo saber. Si usted quiere de repente o no entendió bien el tema, no tenga pena, porque lo peor que puede hacer es quedarse con las dudas. Eh, puede escribirme o, o pedir que dé más ejemplos o que explique en español ya algunos compañeras suyas lo han hecho y pues para ese ese es el objetivo de que ustedes tengan un facilitador verdad que les proveamos de ejemplos que les demos más ejercicios a modo de que pues se les vaya 
eh, facilitando su proceso. Así es que para eso estamos. Si usted necesita que le dé ejercicios eh, o ejemplos adicionales, puede escribir en el chat. Hay una opción que, que está ahí, el chat para todos. O si le da donde dice to, ahí le aparece si quiere que solo yo lo vea en private y selecciona la que dice host. Si le da pena, ¿verdad? Lo puede hacer en privado para que pues no se quede con la duda. Esa es la idea. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Bueno, Delmi, le agradezco que se haya quedado. Y nos vemos mañana. Que descanse. Okay. Good night. Good night.